Hey, hey, thank you for watching my channel. I am the Divine Maverick, also known as the mother of twins, helping you along this twin flame journey. Let me get my little feng shui right. If this is the first time watching the channel, thank you so much for being here. I'm honored that you spent a little time with me because I know that you could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me and I appreciate that. So if you find you like the content on the channel, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well as uh, smash that like button to like this video. Subscribe to the channel, put your energy in these card decks that I use, and next time you come to see a video, it'll feel like a personal reading for you. I do personal readings. I call them love and light sessions. It's the kitchen sink. We talk about everything. We do it all, baby. No restrictions, no limitations. If you think you want to book one of those with me on the phone, because that's the only way I do them, uh, go to thedivinemaverick.com, thedivinemaverick.com, and book one. I'd love to have you. love to get to know you. Thank you so much. Sunflowers and Mavericks, thank you for the way you hold me down on Patreon. I'm saying all my thank yous and love, love, loves at the beginning because um, eventually you'll get used to it. Somebody's getting free, which is the perfect segue to the message. So the Divine Masculine is sitting here talking about, I just need a little bit more time, just a little bit more patience from you. I just need a little bit more time. They're trying to um, take care of me, myself, and I. All I can think about is me, myself, and I is what the Divine Masculine is saying. We're talking about somebody who used to be very concerned with um, holding up their end of the bargain or taking care of responsibilities or uh, whether this this uh, responsibilities be fi uh, children, houses, cars, something, but something that has to do with um, people that depend on this person. I feel like this person did not have balance. This masculine just just gave, gave, gave or, or said, no, oh, no, I'll do it. You know, just really no boundaries. And um and then uh, it's so funny because it's almost like a, a walking contradiction because they would do so many things for everyone and always consider others before themselves. But then they could have a little touch of selfishness. So it's strange. It's weird. It's like a anyway, anyway. But anyway, all of that is like disintegrating. All of that, all of that behavior. They're just by masculine here. That's getting free from uh, restrictions. Getting free from. Control, getting free from obligations. They're liberated. They are. They are ready to live their best lives. They are ready to uh, pursue their dreams. They're ready to have their goals come to fruition. They're. They've been manifesting. They've been working on their manifesting abilities. They've been working on their alchemy. They have been interested in the stars and the moon. They have been uh, meditating and praying. They have been um, believing the impossible. Uh, for or or the yeah believing um, that they can do whatever they set their minds to, and one of the things that they have set their minds upon is a relationship, a life, a commitment with you, and they understand that the road has been filled with a lot of mystery and a lot of maybe trickery or fraud or deception at times, but it was really really for your protection, divine feminine. My masculine is saying, though, I've let all that go. Oh, my gosh. Death card. I've let all that go. There is an ending of an old life and the beginning of a new life in this card. And it's all about freedom. Okay? They're free. Just saying, I just need a little more time. Or maybe you have been patient. Maybe your patience is about to pay off. How about that? Where's that moonology deck? Just in case. We'll get an uh, oracle from there. And maybe one from... I'll get to it. I don't know. I don't know. Let's get a situation. If I'm asking, what's, what you're saying? Yep. Those are the obligations. That's the structure. A structured life. A belief system. A family. A relationship. A controlling person. A domineering person. Maybe a paternal figure, you know, just a, a maybe somebody that was dominant, all right? Domi trying to dominate their lives. Um, I could work for the government, too. It also can look like a prison, you know. The penal system is what I'm hearing, yeah. So feeling good, a lot of healing, a lot of healing going on, feeling very abundant, feeling very fertile. This is a person who has been manifesting a new life. This is a person who's been manifesting a new way of life. Um, this is a person that has learned to um, speak. They found their voice. They have um, they they've balanced their 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 wants and their desires and their needs. This is a, a there's a lot of common sense. 
that's coming through with this energy that I'm reading. A lot of um, back to the basics energy, okay? Healing. Heal yeah, see, the sage. Just wisdom. That's about wisdom. They might have even gotten some sort of mentor, some sort of spiritual advisor, or they've just been studying because this man is studying. This person here is studying. There's books. There's there's a, like apothecary there, and, and there there's a scale. You could be dealing with a Libra. They're a Libra, but it's about, you know, balancing the scales. It's about justice, you know, living righteously, you know, uh, especially if it if they did time, you know, if they had to, you know, miss the, 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 the development or the birth of their children because they were locked away due to poor decisions, things like that. You know, this this divine masculine has learned a lot of lessons, uh, have learned a lot of lessons about community, about business, about life. This person is almost like a, they have, they have their own philosophy. They've always had their own philosophy, but now their philosophy is aligned with the divine, with the light. All right. The light. Who shall I see that? Because they were, they used to be a lie. You know what I mean? They used, they used to be a lie. We talked about that. They said, even though the road has been filled with, you know, treachery and fraud and deceit. I said, we were on the video, but they, but they're like, you know, they're taking that mask off. They're, they're not, they're not dancing around the issue. They face the issue head on and they are, they, you know, they're, they're much wiser now. Look at that. The message. They received a message from spirit. Like you better get yourself together. You know what I mean? As even as it relates to you, the um, bottom of the deck that I was dealing from with the divine masculine messages said I drive by your house, so I don't know who whose message that is. But this person may even check on you, drive by your house, and as they as they as they await await to approach you, wondering if your family and friends will like them. Because like I said, this person had a checker pass. But they, but they've embraced it. They've in, they've integrated it. They're no longer wearing a mask and being ashamed of where they came from. They are. Um, they're ready to talk about it. They're ready to talk about a life with you, right? They're ready to talk about family. They're ready to talk about building. No, no what? No more delay. Ooh, shy Amanda, the fool card. Nope, no more delay. They're ready to move forward with you. Take a leap of faith. Become a fool. I'm hearing that uh, 32 is the number. It's a five. Big happy changes. Also, number three is here with the no. You know, maybe they didn't. They, y'all didn't work together. They it didn't feel like y'all were working for the same goal in the past. But now they're on the same sheet of music as you. Woo, Shama. There we are again. And they're free. Card number 38, by the way, which is an 11, right? They're free. That card came out at the very beginning, bottom of the deck. I'll leave it right there. The scales again. You could be definitely dealing with a Libra. Yeah, divorces happening, court cases are clearing up and, and taking place and, you know, equally giving and receiving, investing, um, not telling a lie. I don't know why these cherries, or I don't think they're apples, they look like cherries to me, but this is like the cherry tree and the George Washington story, the story of George Washington um, lying about chopping down a cherry tree or maybe not lying, whatever. It's a George Washington cherry tree story. Somebody's like, I live on Washington Street and my DM's name is George and he loves cherries anyway. <laughs> but anyway, um, but it is, there's something here about not lying. You know what I mean? This person's coming clean. They're ready to come clean. They're free. They're free and they're ready to come clean. Okay. And um, balance the scales with you. Equal give and take. Number 24 is here on the card. That's a six, uh, which is balance and harmony. Uh, which is the six is also the number of man, divine masculine, right? And also 24. You might be seeing 24s. I also saw 33s or 334 out here, and I saw 243 as well. And they're showing me 29 and 20, 225 and 502. So y'all know y'all for my, for my number for my number heads out there, there you go. But um, the twenty fourth does feel like twenty the twenty fourth and the twenty fifth is here. These feel like birth dates, dates of birth, life path number five and three, and eleven. <sighs> Blessedness. All right, let's get an oracle. Let's get an oracle. Divine masculine. Uh, 
Thank you. Holy Spirit, what is your message for encouragement for the person that is watching this video? On behalf of, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Ain't no need to worry. <laughs> you and your loved ones are safe. I love this card. New moon and cancer. You know cancer is all about the emotions. But you and your loved ones are safe. Your divine masculine is free. And that's another thing. That was a revelation for them. They're like, look, I don't have to try to be here and, and, and guard the kids. Or I don't have to be here and try to guard everything or control everything. I can just simply, you know, or be controlled. Everybody's going to be fine. This is this is the everybody's going to be fine. The highest and best good for everybody concerned. So you and your loved ones are safe. So you don't have to worry. You and this relationship is safe. You and your divine masculine. You guys are safe. This connection is safe. And there's balance coming to this connection. Very nice messages. All right, you guys. I hope this gave you some hope and some faith and even a little more love. I appreciate you watching. Until we meet again, take care of yourselves and each other. I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Bye.